Sparky Finds His Princess. Sparky the dragon was bored. I wish I had been born when there were knights. They knew how to have fun. These days there are no knights to roast and no princesses to capture. Being a dragon today is rubbish. Just then, Sparky noticed a woman wearing a beautiful dress. She was coming out of a building that looked like a fairy tale palace. A castle, a crown, and a glittery dress, shouted Sparky. She must be a princess. I have never seen a real one before now. Sparky took off, beating his wings happily. Flap, flap, flap. He landed by the beautiful woman. I know you, she said. You're the dragon who is always sulking up on top of the tower. I'm not sulking. I'm just bored, said Sparky. But not anymore. I'm going to take you prisoner. Thousands of knights will try to rescue you, and I will have some exciting adventures. Knights, said the beautiful woman, frowning. What are you talking about? Sparky didn't reply. He grabbed the beautiful woman in his claws and flew off towards his tower. Let go of me, you stupid beast, shouted the woman, struggling to get free. The postman was on his morning delivery round. He saw what was happening and shouted, Hey, that dragon has captured the teacher. Oh dear, and I have a letter for her. He thought for a moment and said, There is no way I will let a dragon stop me from delivering the post. He pedaled as hard as he could towards the tower to try and catch up with them. At the top of the tower, the teacher tried to talk some sense into the dragon. My pupils are waiting for me. We are having a school party. Please help me to go back down. No, said Sparky stubbornly. I am a dragon and I capture princesses. That's just how it is. But I'm not a princess said the teacher crossly. Y'all right, said Sparky. You have a crown and a glittery dress, so you must be a princess. It's a fancy dress costume, explained the teacher. Just then the postman appeared. Let me through, you firelighter. I have a letter to deliver. He held up his bicycle pump and waved it like a sword. A knight, said the happy dragon. Let the adventure begin. Whatever, sighed the teacher. Sparky did his best to look fierce. If you want to rescue your princess, brave knight, we will have to have a duel. I'm ready, fire throat, replied the postman, whirling his bicycle pump round and round. Sparky backed away. Hey, I don't want to fight. What? said the postman in a surprised voice. But you said we have to have a duel. Come on, spit some fire then. I can't, said Sparky sadly. I have a cold. I can only spit smoke. I was thinking more of a quiz type duel. The first to give a wrong answer is the loser. Agreed, said the postman. Sparky said, but if you lose, the princess will still be my prisoner. No way roared the furious teacher. Everyone is waiting for me at the school party. First question, said Sparky. What has two wheels, two legs, and delivers laughter and tears every day to homes all over the world? Easy, said the postman. A postman. Good answer, muttered Sparky. Your turn. I smoke like a chimney. I'm red green or black, and I can just as easily light a candle as start a fire. Who am I? Er, a firelighter, said Sparky. No, wrong answer, said the postman. It's a dragon, silly, said the teacher. Instead of capturing teachers, you should go to school. Then you would learn something. You lost, said the postman, feeling very pleased with himself. Now I can deliver my mail. He held out a letter to the teacher. So that's the end of my big adventure, sobbed Sparky. Being a modern dragon is rubbish. Don't be silly, said the teacher, trying to make him feel better. 
She took the envelope, but when she read the letter, her face went white as a sheet. Disaster, she muttered. The play for the school party is off. The actors can't come. The children were so looking forward to seeing knights dueling. What will I tell them now? I have an idea, said Sparky. As he explained his plan to them, the teacher started to smile. Brilliant, she cried. Quick, let's go to school. The show started. The children got a big surprise when they saw their teacher being chased by a huge dragon. Luckily, a knight arrived to save her with his bicycle pump. The scary dragon blew out smoke, flapped its wings, and swished its tail. What a fight! In the end, the dragon ran away and the knight married the princess. The children cheered and clapped. After that day, Sparky was asked to act in every play in every school in the area. Being a modern dragon is cool, he said. I never have time to get bored. The end. Thank you for listening to tonight's story.